So on this episode of Booze Shootout, we're gonna be doing a little thing that I'm gonna call Bottled Terror. I think we're ready for this. So Bottled Terror is where I try drinks that I would ordinarily be afraid to drink. We're gonna just get right to it. Today we're doing a Seagram's Escape. The first one that we're doing, come here, just, just give it, just give it, here it is, is a Peach Seagram's Escape. This is the sort of thing that I would kind of see in an aisle and then pull my cart out of that aisle. So now we're gonna open this sucker. I would not want to put this into any glassware. You can already see what color it's gonna pour. It probably pours like, you know, that orange stuff I put in my car to keep the windows clean. Oh, it's a screw on tap. That's some goodness right there. Okay, look, we're getting a bit of frothy mist. That's kind of delightful. Let's give it a whiff. I do cocaine! Ah, it smells like peach cough syrup. Like that orange stuff I take when I have a bit of a cough. Let's give it a quaff. Mmm. Mmm, wow. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. I can definitely taste the peach, that fuzzy navel peach. It has an almost flat pop stickiness to it. Like a flat pop. And we've got this sort of nice disgusting coating of the middle of your mouth, but not the front of it for some reason. Texture to it. It's a little over sweet, syrupy. Yeah, you know, honestly, I don't think that this has put a gun to my head bad, but it, it's pretty overly saccharine and gross. Let's let's try. I think I've had enough. Let's let's do the other one. Come on. Look, it's a blue one. Now this looks like something. Oh wow, I, I'm not gonna lie. Just looking at it, it's it's oh it's. It's like somewhere between Windex and Powerade. It's, it's hideous. I, okay. Uh, this is screw on, so, you know, last one. Here we go. Mm, oh, wow. That's a, uh, that's a uh, quite an experience. We got a little bit of tartness, followed by this quite off-putting sweet coconut. Um, and by sweet, I mean like, gross coconut flavor. Like, like coconut that has been abused with so much sugar that it's lost any sense of coconut. Oh, this... I'll miss you. Mmm. We kind of have that, like, stale Skittles smell to this. It's... Mmm. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. Um... It's probably just my foggy imagination, but I feel like the mouthfeel on this one is slightly more tolerable. It's not great, but it doesn't feel like I have cough syrup in my mouth. Um, I think the pineapple is what makes this one a little more drinkable to me. It Having a little bit of tartness there lets the hideous sweetness just be tamed a little bit mildly. I honestly don't know that I could finish this. Let's... I, but if I had to pick one to try to finish, it would be this one. Um, both of them get one star from me. There you go. If you aren't typically into this sort of thing, you know, if you... You, you probably don't need to change that. This was, this is pretty dreadful, I would say. My fear was well-founded. Good night. I'll, I'll take one more sip of this. Hey, booze shooters, thanks for watching. No. And as always, drink responsibly. Yeah. Smash that like button if you liked it. Smash the thumbs down if you didn't. Comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Cheers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess cheers. I guess. Yeah. Whatever. Oh god, it smells like the Glade plug-in. That's a... that's a... I wish I would have thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have thought of that.